Hello everyone and now welcome to game two in this series between Kaz and Happy. Happy taking game one in what I gotta believe is the most workers killed in a 10 minute game that I've ever seen. That, uh, well, I guess that's before the Blue Flame Hellion or after the Blue Flame Hellion nerf. Both sides just absolutely destroying each other's economy line. And that was not the Terran versus Terran matchup I was expecting. I was totally expecting Siege Tank Wars, Thor's Viking, a whole bunch of Marines, both sides in a bit of a standoff saying, you know what, if I unsiege my tanks, you win. If you unsiege your tanks, um, I win. And what's going to happen there? as both sides could have just dealt a lot of damage to each other. Now, I am a bit surprised that the supply depots are actually up on this map. Doesn't this actually make it easier to wall off against your opponent? You can build a barracks there and a barracks there, and there is this one supply depot there. Once the Marines on the outside, they can just start shooting up. But, of course, this is a Terran versus Terran matchup, and you generally don't try to wall off against the only other race, or the race that has... Uh, the earliest range unit um, that isn't named a queen. Okay, let's take a look into this. Kaz down over here. He is not going into a 13 gas, or perhaps he will be. Both sides not doing that earlier, earlier strategy that had become so common. 11 racks, 11 gas. Instead, both sides going back to the much more traditional 1 racks, 1 gas at 13. Now, so far from what I've been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of Terran players go um, go for two or one of each production building early on and then um, try and build up another command center. So we'll see if that will be the case there or here or, or if they will be going into the harassment technique that we saw in the previous game. So far, the builds are nearly identical except for Happy will be slightly behind in terms of his economy as he is now scouting out his opponent. Is that Supply Depot going to be placed down in time? Oh, yes, it will. And with that, the Marine it will be able to shoo away that SCV. 17 over 19 on both sides. A slight income difference. You can see that it's 520 versus 440 about. 460 dancing back and forth. And now one Marine going to be running over to the Zelnaga Tower. Is it going to catch the SCV? No, it will not catch the SCV. Happy keeping track of the minimap and making sure to take it down. Let's come across over here. Barracks. Factory now coming into play. We are going to be seeing this one Marine now wander around the map. And we are going to be seeing SCVs try to move into the center here. Oh, one Marine now doing a little bit of a chase. SCV is slightly faster than a Marine. That's got to be a horrible way to get taken down by an SCV's fusion cutter. Like, how did you die on the field? Oh, a space construction vehicle walked up to me and and zapped me with a fusion cutter. Yeah, that, that just sounds so terribly, terribly destructive. We are going into a factory now. We can see that the reactor is already being added on. And Kaz now with the faster draw into a natural expansion. Meanwhile, the Marine now trying to back away. This Marine chasing and the Marine now down to nine hit points. Could this SCV and Marine combination actually deal the killing blow? The Marine SCV now trying to get it a little bit of a, a little bit of a chase there. And this poor Marine may actually get taken down by an, uh, an SCV. There you go. There's a zap. One more kill will do it. And it gets taken down. So the space construction vehicle... The SCV is good to go, ready to go into battles, and sometimes all you need is an SCV. Double Widow Mines now being placed down, very defensive strategy by Kaz. Kaz is playing a bit more in the dark, he has not really ventured forward to figure out what his opponent has gone. So far with no scanner sweeps, thank you Flesh Hunter, I love you, loving my videos as well. And I am set away, why does it still do this to me? Letting me know that people message me. Alright, so here we go. Double Widow Mines now being placed down. Upgrade to an Orbital Command getting underway. And with one Hellion back here, we'll see whether or not these Hellions and Marines are going, um, going to accidentally trigger a Widow Mine fallout. Alright, Widow Mines are right there. There is one Hellion there. More Hellbats now being trained. Hellbats seem to be the name of the game. And oh, this could be bad. This could potentially be very bad as one 
Yes, one easy shot there. And now what is going to be happening next? Oh, the supply depots need to be raised. Are they going to be raised in time? One is raised in time. And did they just drive through that supply depot? I do believe so. As SCV is now getting taken down. Happy in a bit of trouble. Oh, are they going to be able to chase enough? You can see just how much damage and how effective these... Um, Hellions and Hellbats are these Hell Hellions doing a very good job staying outside the range of this one Widow Mine as the Widow Mine now has rearmed itself. All right, um, Hellbat now gonna go in and perhaps trigger the Widow Mine. What is it doing? Um, oh, no, wait a second. That is a okay. I'm sorry. That looked like a red Hellbat to me for just a second. Um, yeah, the accent. Yeah, see, red on red versus red on blue. Okay, got it. Now I know what I'm looking for. Here we go. We are going to be seeing a reactor now being added on. Starport, double metavax, perhaps quad. Uh, double metavax with quad hellbats looking to come in and make for a very, very bad day. Hellions now simply retreating once more as we are already going into a third command center. So Kaz really, really playing aggressively here as the hellbats. Wow, a quick torch and it looks like any workers killed six to seven workers killed on both sides scvs uh, not going unscathed taking a bit of damage down to 15 hit points as the what one what one red medevac going to be staying off over here okay let's take a look the barracks is looking to land it is not going to be able to do so and it will get taken down here in just a moment meanwhile on the far side let me turn terrain back on um this one hellbat Trying to do a bit more damage, but there are going to be more Hellions and Hellbats here in just a moment. Here we go, Hellbat now simply walking inside and going to get in, uh, some easy shots there. The one Hellbat already at 9 kills. Is it going to get up to 10? And oh, is it going to get... Yes, it does get 10 and it picks up just in time. Wow, some great, great micro by both of these players. Meanwhile, Kaz does have one um, Widow Mine here. And oh, this is, could be a very bad day. The Hellbat... The Hellbats could be without their medevac support. Oh, Viking. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I was like, wait, what, what just happened? The Vikings. Like, oh my gosh. The Hellbats. There's a Viking coming. Let's hide in the medevac. Wait, any, anyone else see why that's a bad idea? Okay, moving on. Hellbats and Vikings now. Uh, um, just doing their patrolling here. Kaz sitting at 66 over 70. Happy sitting at 62 over 78. Hellbats now looking or yeah looking to get transported away once more and you can see where exactly these Hellbats are going since we have infinite field of vision essentially as the Vikings are now making sure that this barracks does the last bit of its scouting. So far these double Hellbats may try to drop off in this corner and this would be a very very nice place to hit. Not much really going on over here behind these mineral lines. No units absolutely no missile turrets and here we go in comes a drop is it going to be enough hellbats going after those scvs one scv now down the units are now battling it out and the scvs and the hellbats oh so much damage to be had both sides dealing so much here there's three hellbats here this one hellbat has not been engaging as the vikings now go into ground mode ground mode viking as more hellbats now coming in to reinforce down it goes meanwhile off to the north hellions and hellbats coming in again to deal more damage all right can you actually get this um, orbital command down to below 500 if you do it will start to catch on fire and there it goes the orbital command now needs to lift off or the longer it waits the worse it will be scv trying to repair unable to do so more hellbats now coming over oh is it gonna be enough down to 150 147 they need to call a mule over in time to try and repair it SCV is now being brought over, and there you have it. The Orbital Command will be saved as the Hellions and Hellbats unable to, um, yeah, unable to run away. But what's this? Another Hellbat coming in here. So, uh, the, a new Bio Drop has come in, and this Bio Drop is a Bio Shock to these SCVs. So many SCVs now taken down as we may see another drop up onto the high ground as the siege tank now tries to get in. Oh, all those SCVs are dropped. You can see another two taken down. Oh, so quickly. Hellions um, or Hellbats going up against a siege tank and it lo almost looked like that. Oh, this is going to be bad. The is the booster going to come in on time? Yes, it will, but still unable to run away from those Lancer torpedoes. Meanwhile, Happy able to finish off another expansion here. And once more, this is just a horrible day to be a worker as Vikings are now on the move. Hellbats 
have been the key, key unit in all of these games. And these Hellbats, so strong, so effective, as we are now seeing another three factories being placed down by Empire's Happy. We are sitting on two bases by Happy, two bases by Kaz. Another Hellbat drop coming in over here. Vikings in position. SCVs are not on auto repair. Not quite sure why um, auto repair would be good. Keep these Vikings alive a little longer. Siege tanks and um, Hellbats alive just a little bit longer. As the Medivacs should only be saving that energy for when an actual fight is underway. Alright, two Hellbats now ready to go. And these Hellbats have really been the surprise of Heart of the Swarm. Even during the beta, a lot of the players um, weren't using Hellbats nearly, or massing Hellbats nearly as, as much as we're seeing now. You can see that this one Hellbat already has 10 kills, dealing 36 damage per attack against light units. And that just goes to show you how extremely effective that Hellbat is. You can see another drop happening over here. It looks as though, are, are we going to see this enough? And the Hellbat's going to drop down in time. Now this is going to be able to, what, an afterburner out of that location. We are going to be seen on three bases by Happy, only two bases by Kaz, as another drop now taken care of. What's interesting about this as well is that siege tanks are actually being used more like 7 range marauders. They're not in siege mode because if a hellbat drops inside a mineral line, the siege tanks will actually do more harm than good. So the siege tanks instead stay in, stay outside of siege mode. They're doing 19 to 31 damage. Um, very, very effective damage, I must say, with a very good range and a fast attack rate. And now Kaz just going to be, you know what, you've been doing all of these rather cute antics. Can I win this game straight up, straight out? No. Another double Hellbat drop. One in the main, one in the natural. The Vikings now trying to push back the Medivacs, unable to do so, as the Hellbats are still giving chase vikings and siege tanks being brought over kaz has lost 47 workers in this game as a new medevac or the medevac now has pulled away again barracks landing on the top left hand side of the map siege tanks of happy now starting to get added in here you can see the production is now really ramping up thor's being added hellbats being added two reactors on the factories here as we now see more Hellbats and Siege Tanks being added. So Happy is just taking this time to constantly annoy with Hellbats. And then I'm going to come in with a stronger number of Siege Tanks. So the Hellbat Wars are still underway. Siege Tanks unable to do very much. SCVs. Oh, SCV could have been taken down there as we now see another drop back up here. Is it going to be able to take down more? It looks like, yes, one SCV did get taken down. But the rest of the Siege Tanks have arrived. All right, keeping track of this minimap and keeping track of every drop, nearly impossible at this stage. As I believe the did the missile turret get the kill? No, I'm not sure what got the kill there, but that hellbat threat is gone at the nine o'clock position. All right, let's take a look here. Siege tanks, are they going to siege up in time? Oh, this potentially could be very bad news. A Thor now joining in, and oh, most gets the shot off. All right, the Thor needs to go into high impact cannons, otherwise. It is not going to do any damage to those Vikings. Um, always one of those situations where the Thors should always be using that high impact payload. The 250, or what is that? The 250 millimeter Punisher cannons. In order to shoot down Vikings from the sky. Alright, Army of Happy, much, much large. Or actually, the armies are fairly even. You can see 76 versus 112. Okay, I guess not that even. But in terms of cost... A, a 2,000 mineral difference and gas is actually higher for Kaz. So Kaz does have a larger number of siege tanks. And with the Hellbats all um, all on the field, they are not as fast as Hellions. And because of that, they may not be able to engage against all of these siege tanks. Here we go. Another Hellbat drop underway. More SCVs getting taken down. You can see that the units are trying to pull away. And it is pulling Kaz and stretching him thin. Meanwhile, during this time, a major aggression now coming in. You can see that the, um, what is this? The Hellbats and Siege Tanks all in position here. About a 1600 resource difference. If Kaz can actually uh, bait Happy into attacking him, that would be the perfect, perfect plan. Thor's Siege Tanks, Marines. 
Hellbats and Metavax still looking to walk a bit together. All right, I believe, yes, we are under the high impact payload. And yes, someone is calling my house. Hopefully my fax machine doesn't go. You know what? Give me one second. All right, I apologize. And I apologize for that as well. Let's go ahead and get back into the thing. Oh, come on. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back into the game. You can see Siege Tanks and Thors are in position. Some of them are in high impact payload. Some of them do use that Javelin Missile Launchers. So they will be doing um, extra bonus damage to light and have a bit of splash as well. You can see Happy now running on four bases as the main aggression now coming in. So this is turning into Tank Wars, but they are not all in Siege mode. Oh, here we go. Tanks modes all in Siege. And there you go. All so many tanks now destroyed. Both sides absolutely destroying each other. Who is going to come out on top? Four siege tanks compared to the 15 left over by Kaz. And Kaz really coming out of that fight. Trading extremely well. Happy losing more in that engagement. All right. So many Hellbats were taken down. Meanwhile, inside the main... Another four Hellbat drop inside the main, causing a bit of problems. We could see another drop back into the natural expansion as the SCVs are all going to get torched here. All right, the main attack force of Kaz. Now it's going to be attacking all, for no all or nothing, so to speak, as the Hellbats are still trying to engage. More units happy now trying to retreat here. If Kaz pushes forward... And Happy does not have siege tanks. There's that siege line. That's going to be just enough. And there goes a couple siege tank or one siege tank there as the Vikings now on the hunt. The Vikings with the superior count going to take down Medivac and Viking after Viking. This is going to be a very, very bad day indeed as there it goes. All right, what's happening off over here? Siege tanks, Hellbats engaging Happy. Still doing all right as the siege tanks now trying to push through across the center. Are the siege tanks in a siege? No, they are not. What is Kaz thinking? He either needs to run or he needs the siege. What is going on as all the units are now backing off again, able to escape just in time. Holding that Zelnaga tower will be key to any movement. As we are seeing at 164 versus 123, 30 SCVs, worker kill count 79 for Happy as these Hellions and Hellbats have been the winner of the game so far. That's, I just wonder, why don't Vikings have a different name when they're in ground mode then? Alright, anyways, let's go. Siege tanks, Thors, all being added. We're going to have a very large engagement in across the center, but Kaz's, Kaz's army is very much tank heavy. Happy does have 3-0 versus 3-1 upgrades, and is it going to be enough? The Siege tank's going to be dealing terrible damage. As, oh, it looks like, yes, a little bit of an exchange there. Both sides now just outside of range. And all of these siege tanks now looking to back away. All right. Are we going to see perhaps more units? Kaz now sitting on 20 siege tanks. The 20 siege tanks is a tremendous number. And can completely shell out an army in a matter of seconds. Kaz now looking to sit on four bases. Excuse me. Yeah, four bases. Meanwhile, Happy now sitting on five, establishing the bottom right-hand side of the map. And are we getting a missile turret? Yes, finally we see missile turrets on the field as Kaz has learned his lesson with so many Hellbat drops. But with that said, I, that's good if your opponent is trying to drop with one um, medevac at a time. If your opponent is dropping in with five and they all have those afterburners, that is going to be problematic. All right, let's see what's going to happen here. Are those Hellbats going to be able to do any serious damage? Here you go. There is those units igniting just at the right time. And one Hellbat. Oh, Siege Tanks drop. This is not even a Hellbat drop. This is a Siege Tank drop straight up inside the base. Dealing so much damage. There's an aggression here. And Happy is going to force Kaz to pull back to attack him. There you go. So much damage being had. Siege tanks just destroying everything you can see here. And so much damage going on. Meanwhile, back over here, the main aggression. Happy throwing everything he has. He just needs to stop this siege line. And can he do it? Yes, he does do it. Kaz says GG. And Happy takes game two in this series with a split attack between siege tanks in the main and also leaving a couple at the front door. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed Game 2. Please stay tuned for Game 3.